Wolves have won it! Wolves have won it! Wolves have won it! A quite incredible finish to a remarkable match! <laughs> So today's main talking point on Twitter in terms of the Wolves perspective has been the discussion about the stadium and the possibility that Wolves could move away from Molyneux at some point in the future. This comes from a little article that's been shared a few times on Twitter, which I'll read for you now in case you haven't seen it. The club insists that while they will remain at their training facility in Compton, the future of Molyneux is up in the air, with She's ambition to have the team playing in front of 50,000 fans. Jeff She goes on to say... The stadium is in the centre of the city and there is no space to expand the stadium too much. We are talking about the maximum size of the stadium, maybe 40,000, 45,000 or 50,000, he said. I think by the end of the season, we will make some crucial decisions on whether to expand the stadium or build a new stadium. Molyneux is important for the fans, of course, and we are looking at it and have architects looking at designs. After this season, we will have to make a decision. She's plans are ambitious and his desire for rapid success is evident, but understands that the need to learn from others but not to copy. Warning, every club is unique, so we can look, but we cannot copy anyone as the background, the base, the people and the owners are different. If you remember back in January or February this year, I made a video talking about the expansion and redevelopment of Molyneux. You can watch that up here. Uh, but also I thought about the, the possibility of Wolves leaving the Molyneux playing grounds as they were once known many years ago. And I was quite a young fan at the age of 27 and having only gone to Molyneux as it is now. So Molyneux has been redeveloped when I was a toddler so I cannot remember the old South Bank or the Waterloo Road stand and, and things like that and also I've got I and you know I appreciate that the the history of the ground and the fact that um, you know the famous European matches that happened there and the flood like friendlies and all that stuff in the 50s that happened there but it's not the same stadium that that all happened in it is the same ground but the pitch isn't even in the same place as those games the pitch is now much closer to the steve bull stand because them building that so far away from the pitch in the 70s but away from the stadium itself and from the memories and from the history at the ground there's just pure logistically i think molyneux has got to be one of the best stadiums in the country for away fans having been to lots of away games last year there's only really ipswich nottingham forest and then the London ones like Brentford and QPR, which are in amongst people. Every other away ground, it seems nowadays, or every new stadium, are these. I think somebody described it on Twitter earlier on as an identikit stadium. It's just they all look the same. You could go to Middlesbrough, or to Derby, or to Cardiff, or to Swansea, or to all these different grounds all over the place, and they are just the same bowls, and they're dead, and they've got the shops by them. They've got Frankie and Benny's next door. It's boring. It's still that's not what we want as Wolves fans. For me, it's not. A, I'm not a big drinker or anything like that. But I appreciate that lots of people come to the Wolves. Well, they come to the town before the game. You'll see now on Saturday uh, against Everton, there'll be thousands of fans in Wolverhampton hours before kickoff, putting money into the city, and then coming over to the ground. And then coming back into town and spending their money again. And likewise with away fans, they'll come in on the train, walk across the town, walk down to the to the ground, and then they can leave fairly comfortably as well. Now there are a couple of options, and I think it was what Jeff She was alluding to there. They expect that Molyneux could, in its current form, be redeveloped to host about fifty thousand fans. Personally, I think that is more than enough. Uh, we've seen. Over the last year, average attendances are up to 28, 29, 30,000, which is the best that it's been in years and years. And seeing 19,000 there yesterday for a friendly is unbelievable. But if you think about Wolves' history, our record attendance is 61,000. If you think about the size of the city, it's about 250, 300,000. That's a massive proportion of the, that's 10% of the city that go into Wolves games regularly. I don't think, I can't see us being able to even if we are a Champions League team or a big you know even if we become as big as Manchester United or Real Madrid or Barcelona a huge international global brand that's the only reason I could see us going above 50,000 so does that mean that we have to leave Molyneux if if the maximum that we could get at Molyneux is 50,000 is there any reason for us to go elsewhere now the argument against that would be that 
um, a Fosun want to build a similar sort of stadium or a similar similar sort of complex to that of Manchester City at the Etihad. They, if you've ever been to the Etihad, and if you haven't, you might have a chance this year. Uh, they've got the academy stadium right over the road from the the main ground of the Etihad. They've also got hotels and media complexes and you know all that sort of stuff related to the club, rather than like we've seen at Championship level, you know. A food court. I've seen a lot of people say that they would get very, very upset, and it might even be the end of their wolf support in life if they were to leave Molyneux. I don't think that would be the case. I think if we were to offer the majority of Wolves fans, uh, right, if we're going to leave Molyneux to go to this massive 50,000 seat stadium with a roof, uh, with a retractable pitch, with all this fancy stuff, and it's going to guarantee us to win a Champions League or to win us trophies on a consistent basis. Would you take it? I think most Wolves fans probably would. Although that being said, I've put it to my uh, followers on Twitter, which you can follow me at the Old Gold Black 1877. 68% of people have said that they would always want to stay at Molyneux. But I think it's a really, really interesting point, and I think by the end of this season we will know whether or not Wolves are going to stay at Molyneux or leave. I think. From that statement that was that I read out at the beginning of the video, it does appear as if Wolves are in the process of drawing up designs for a new stadium and developing the ideas that they've got for the current stadium. I think it's a really, really interesting time to be a Wolves fan. I think this could be the first divisive issue that Fosun face. I think they might see some opposition to this idea. I think that if they go for leaving Molyneux, they could come up with a lot of opposing views to that although it's still very early days with two years into Fosun now I think I'd, I would trust them to do it in the right way and to be sensitive and, and to be understanding of Wolves fans attachment to Molyneux and and do it in the right way it's not going to be like West Ham going from the bowling ground to the Olympic Stadium it's going to be our stadium which we could build and develop in our own way and it could be the making of Wolves it could take us that next step because I think most fans are, are pretty accepting that we're going to finish comfortably we can we're not going to get relegated this year but we need to be able to develop and build on that in the future and we've seen teams like Stoke perhaps go and Albion going a little bit stale in the Premier League and because they've stayed at their grounds perhaps and we've seen I think Swansea is a very, very good example of what a stadium can do for a club. They built that the Liberty when they were down in League One and it, it really did boost them into the Premier League and the attraction of coming to play in a nice stadium might not be that big a deal for Premier League players. I think it's more the competitions, but it could provide something extra for the top, top players that could come in. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section down below. Sorry this has been quite a long and rambling video, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you can... I'm a little bit on the fence at the moment because there's no real decision to, that has been made yet. We know, I think everybody really knew that both both things were on the table, both options were on the table beforehand and we'll see. We'll see what happens over the course of the season. We might get relegated and we'll have to stay at Molyneux then anyway. So <laughs> but yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 3,000, please, before next week. That'd be amazing. Thank you very much for all your support recently, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.